Frank. What's up, Bridget? Wonder if all the people that think we're super magical realize that sometimes we get our nutrients from poop and dead animal carcasses. Yeah, joke's on them. <laughs> Week 14, completely stalled. I still weigh 172. And I don't care. <laughs> I care. No, I don't. I kind of care. I'm stalled. What can I say? Gotta change it up, right? If I had to give myself a grade on how well I did tracking my calories last week, I'd give myself a D. So I tracked like four out of seven days. So there were three days that I didn't track. Or I like tracked in the morning, but then I kind of teetered off in the afternoon and I was like oh I forgot to look up how much that was so I didn't go like crazy with calories I just I would forget and then it'd be the end of the night and I was like nope just put a big x on the calendar like I messed that day up <laughs> canceled I'm thinking of trying OMAD out again and for those of you that don't know what OMAD is it's one meal a day um so yesterday I had one meal, today I have had one meal. I'm gonna try this again. I failed in the past with it because I, I just kind of like jumped in. I was so excited. I was like, oh mad, yeah. But then I failed after like, I think three or four days because I just didn't really research it. I just didn't know what I was doing. If any of you are doing OMAD and you have any tips for me, I would greatly appreciate them. Um, I do follow uh, an account called OMAD Caroline and she's like super fit and she's been doing OMAD for I think like a couple of years now. And I've just, you know, I've seen her be successful with it and I'm thinking, well, why can't I be successful? I could, I can do that. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so I'm gonna give OMAD another try. Um, We'll see it. We'll see if that helps break up the stall a little bit. I hope it does. I'm still doing my 25 uh, countertop push-ups a day. Um, good feedback in the video last week, so I appreciate everyone that commented and let me know um, what they thought. So I'm no longer trying to do them on the floor without shoes. I will wear shoes every time now. And also, um, push-up dad, awesome guy. Follow him if you're not or do I say follow? That's Instagram. Subscribe to him, if you will. He's really cool. But he, he suggested that um, instead of having my, I had my elbows out like that, and it puts a lot of um, pressure on your shoulders. And I didn't really think about that. And so he said for me to bring my elbows in so that when you're looking from up top, I'm more shaped like an arrow. And that made them significantly harder because now I'm like using my triceps. But I'm gonna keep doing it that way and see how that works for me because um, I don't want a shoulder injury. <laughs> and I was tagged by Mary Gets Fit to answer 10 questions on my weight loss journey. So I'm going to answer those 10 questions. Um, the first one is, what is the reason for your weight loss journey? So there's this picture. And that's, that's honestly what started it this time around. Um, if you've watched my, my video, 183 pounds and miserable, um, it's about my beginning. My neighbor um, took that picture of me and I was so grossed out with myself. I was so mad. And then I was like, no, I could, I could be mad and continue doing what I'm doing or I could be mad and stop drinking start walking and pay attention to what I'm eating and start a YouTube channel and follow a bunch of YouTubers that are also losing weight. So <laughs> yeah, that was, that was the reason why I started this time around. But what I want out of it, I want to be smaller, to be completely honest. Like, I think that if I could be smaller, I'll fit into my clothes better. Um, maybe I'll be more confident. Who knows? I have like horrible, horrible self-confidence. So who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll get down to like 140 and still be like, oh, I'm so dissatisfied. I hope not. Gosh, I'd like to be healthier. 
I have a kid and I want to be here for him as long as I possibly can and I don't want any obesity related illnesses taking me away from him. Number two is asking what pitfalls I've experienced so far. I am an emotional eater, so when I get stressed out or angry or sad or anything like that, I usually turn to food. And so a pitfall has been um, not being able to control myself when those situations come up. And going back to my old ways and saying, I am so angry, I need chips. So that's, that's something. Uh, another thing is um, getting too wrapped up in the number on the scale. I said from the beginning, no, oh, I'm only going to weigh once every other week because I am a crazy person with the scale. And then I started weighing once a week. And that's been okay, but there was a week there where I weighed multiple times a day, every day, and I made myself miserable. So that that's honestly, that's... That's one thing I could think of that has um, hindered me. What are my favorite meal ideas for weight loss? I'm not, I'm not really big into like meals per se. I like eggs. Uh, bananas are cool. I'll eat a banana for breakfast sometimes. <laughs> I'm just not really big into like whole meals of food. Listen, uh, probably gonna be in the neighborhood a little bit later. Uh know if uh, you want to get together for uh, frozen yogurt sometime or maybe even a whole meal of food if that'd be agreeable favorite exercises i like walking i like being outside i like fresh air <laughs> so walking is good for me it's good for the dog it's good for my kid i'm i'm pretty simple i'm boring yeah there's a fine line between simple and boring and i think i think i'm right there just riding that that fine line <laughs> Number five, how do I stay motivated? I don't stay motivated. Once in a while, I will get motivated. I'll like watch a motivational video on YouTube. I'll, I'll listen to a motivational TED talk or see someone's success story. And I get motivated temporarily. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be like that person. I'm gonna have success. And I get motivated and and then it just kind of dies. Number six, how do you celebrate your successes? <laughs> oh God, I am so pessimistic. I, what is wrong with me? I'm trying to answer these questions like happily, but um, I don't celebrate. I don't celebrate successes. I don't really feel super successful. I've, you know, I, I've lost some inches and that that's great. And I've lost a few pounds in 14 weeks. But you know, with those little successes, I just, I just mentioned them in a YouTube video and that's as far as I get with celebrating. Uh, I think that in the past with other failed weight loss attempts, as soon as I like hit a milestone or I lost five pounds or anything like that, or my pants fit me loose, I would celebrate with food. I'd be like, ooh, I earned this, you know, I earned this pizza. I earned this trip to Starbucks where I'm gonna order something that's not plain coffee. I'm gonna get like one of those super sugary like latte drinks and, and I'm gonna get a pastry. And I would get like that where I would think, well, I, I reached a goal and I'm gonna celebrate, I'm gonna treat myself. So I have to pull myself out of that mindset this time around because it's always like, I always sabotage me when I do that. Uh, it's just a slippery slope. And then down the slope I go grabbing onto pizza slices and lattes on the way down the slope. So <laughs> number seven, what's my overall goal? I would like to, you know, be walking by a window or a mirror and see my reflection and not be angry at what I'm seeing. I would like to have someone take a candid photo of me and me hate the photo because of the face I'm making or because I didn't like what I was wearing or something, something dumb like that instead of hating the photo because of how fat I am and being upset that, you know, that's how the world sees me. I just wanna be confident when I'm walking around. I wanna be confident uh, no matter what I'm wearing, stuff like that. So I hope those are good enough goals.
Do I follow any weight loss accounts on social media? Mainly, I follow accounts here on YouTube. Uh, one of them is Gage Girl Training, which I've mentioned before. Another is Fledge Fitness. Oh, <laughs> Majors. If you're not following Majors, oh my gosh, this guy's awesome. He's funny. He's just, he's so like loud and like whenever I hit play on one of his videos and he's like, he's kind of, he kind of screams when he's welcoming you to his channel. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. Um, it startles the dog. Like he hears him yelling and he immediately picks his head up and his little ears are like, <laughs> like who's yelling at me? <laughs> Those are three that I could think of um, off the top of my head that I, I tend to gravitate towards. Number nine, where do I buy my workout clothing? I tend to uh, look on the clearance racks in Ross and Marshalls and um, sometimes Old Navy and sometimes Target. I don't really shop specific brands or anything. I just kind of buy what's cheap. And the last one, number 10, what advice would you give to any weight loss newbies? I don't really feel like I'm one to be giving advice on anything. I feel like I'm a newbie. I just started uh, in August, so I don't have any words of wisdom or anything. I don't feel like I have been successful enough to offer advice to people but if I wanted to give like general very loose advice I would say if you lose your way go back to the beginning and try to remember why you started like what made you start this in the first place you know I don't want to say you're gonna fail but I feel like all of us experience failures and um, I think the important thing is how you process through that failure and how you decide whether you're going to let it completely derail you and end your journey right then and there and you're just at a dead end on the side of the road or you pick up when you're done when you're done with the failure you pick yourself up you deal with it and you get back on the road and you keep going i don't know if that's good advice that's kind of what my experience has been so far that's all I have for you. <laughs> hope this wasn't too boring, and I hope I uh, I wasn't too pessimistic or um, Debbie Downer like. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful week, and if you've fallen off track this week, um, there's always next week. Oh, and I meant what I said about these guys. They seriously go for piles of poop and dead animal carcasses and they suck nutrients out of them. So, for all of you people saying my, my spiders and my insects are gross, but you think butterflies are magical, <laughs> they do gross things. They're still magical, but they do gross things.